All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. And today, what I have for everyone is we're going to get into talking about my favorite watch faces and some bugs and improvements that I think CMF needs to implement for the CMF Watch Pro 2. Now, I've been rocking this watch for a good amount of time. I'm not quite ready for the full review as of yet, but I think I've gathered all my opinions and experienced all the bugs and things that I'm going to experience, and I want to talk to everyone about my favorite watch faces and make some recommendations. So, let's talk about the bugs first, all right? So, bug number one, and it's gotten a little bit better. And that would be the connection of the watch with the app and pushing the notifications. That has gotten better, but I still notice that there are times when the watch disconnects from the app and I don't get notifications until I reconnect it or I come in and I open the app and it reconnects. So the connectivity still needs to be improved for the CMF Watch Pro 2. All right. And then the other bug is the overriding of different settings bug. And I think I said this in a previous video already. Like prime example, when you set your display's timeout to 20 minutes, that 20 minutes doesn't stay on indefinitely, right? You'll get to run that 20 minutes one time and then it will default back to the 20 seconds. It should not be like that. That 20 minutes should stay on until you decide to turn that off. Okay. Yes, I know it draws more battery, but some of us like to have our display on for longer periods of time so we can track certain things and do certain things. So I really don't like the fact that that bug is still there where the 20 seconds uh, timeout overrides the 20 minute timeout, okay? And honestly, guys and gals, those are the two bugs that I'm still experiencing even on the second generation of the CMF Watch Pro 2. Okay, so CMF, if you guys can, guys and gals can clean up these bugs, I think y'all should have an overall super solid product here. All right, now let me get into some of my favorite watch faces. Okay, so this is one. I've been rocking this one for a few days now. This is one of my favorites because this gives me everything. This gives me time in seconds with the date and my battery percentage. I like this, okay? And then let me go through the other ones on the application here, just so it's easier to see. And another thing that I don't like is they have limited the amount of watch faces you can store in here to just seven. Now I know in a previous video, I said six, but basically, you get to choose six, and then you get to use the custom watch face, and that's number seven, right? And I did customize a very basic watch face here. I like the clean and basic layouts. I just want the time and the date. And honestly, I made it white and black because it has an AMOLED display, and that saves battery. So... That's my custom watch face. Y'all have seen this custom watch face in previous videos already. But you get this custom watch face. And then you get six other watch faces of your choice. And then that's it. Okay? Now, honestly, I feel like this number needs to be improved, right? Because we should be able to switch between way, way more than seven watch faces. Ideally, I think you should, CMF, you guys should bump this number up to like 10. Okay, 10 is a good number. 
and I could have sworn for the first generation of the watch, we had more than just the capability of being able to store seven watch faces. So I feel like they reduced that. But these are my favorite watch faces that I trimmed it down to. So digital time, you can see it right there. Okay. And what's really cool is they let you see the always on display inside of the application there. So if I press and hold, you can see the always on display version. Okay, so digital time, that's one. Sun circle, that's two. Okay, slope time, that's three. Now this is the default watch face, but I still think it's pretty clean. And this one has a few customizations on it. So I like that, I like that a lot, okay. Then you have type. Type has always been one of my favorites. I like that nice clean layout with the time and the date and everything written out. And again, you can see the always on display version of that. Okay. Then we have sports mode. I really, really like sports mode because again, it just gives you a simple and clean way to see everything. Okay, and then it has an even cleaner always on display as well. So I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. All right. Now, moving on, we do have Time Finder. And this was the one that I showcased earlier. And check out the always on display for that. Nice and clean. Okay. And then we got the custom down at the bottom and the custom does also have its own custom always on display. But those are my seven favorite watch faces. Okay. And yeah, now let me show y'all some customizations that you can do on the watch. And then we're gonna wrap this video up. Okay, so. You can press and hold to switch your watch faces. So if I press and hold here, I can then switch my watch faces here to any one of the seven. Okay. But if I want to change different accent colors for a particular watch face, I can do that as well. All I have to do is hit the gear and then I can switch the different accent colors. So you can see for this one, the last accent color I had was white. And then if you use the dial, you can rotate through the different accent colors. And then basically you just stop on one that you want. Okay, so let's go with the blue. And that's pretty much it. So now this is blue. And you could do that for a variety of different watch faces. So that's one. Then let's click this one. Now that one, you don't have any color customizations. That one just is what it is. And then here, this one, you have color customizations, but then you also have different um, compilations that you can set. So you can see you could change out the calories and the steps for something else, right? So if I really wanted to, I can put my distance in here. I can put my sports exercises in here. I could do my battery percentage. I could do my time standing. I could do my exercise time, or I could stick with the default, which is calories and steps, okay? So you can customize two compilations for this one, okay? And that's kind of why I like keeping this one because I like the ability to customize that. Okay, that's that one. And you just click it to set it. And then over here, this one is colors. So similar to the last one I showed y'all, you could just change the accent colors. And then once you get to the color that you want, you just click it to set it and it's set. And then the same one here, you can change your colors on this. 
Alright. Then you just click it to set it. Boom. And it's set. Alright. And then same one over here. This is how y'all saw that white and black. Because I had it set to white. So it's, it blacks out everything else. But you just use the dial to pick your accent color. And then once you pick it, you click it to set it, and it's set. So that's some basic customization that you can do on the watch, and I kind of like that. And the fact that this is an AMOLED display now over a LCD display means that certain colors, when they're not lighting up the screen, the screen is off, so it's actually saving the most amount of battery life. Let me put this back to how I had it. I like rocking that black and white. And then boom. So I just wanted to show y'all that real quick customization, guys and gals. And then that essentially goes over my favorite watch faces and some customizations and some things that I feel CMF needs to improve for their second generation CMF Watch Pro 2. All right. Now that guys and gals does it for today's video. I think I'm going to drop this one on Sunday. I think I'm going to now make Sunday's CMF day and then Fridays will be for everything else. And then I'll just drop other stuff as they need to be dropped. Now I'm still in the middle of the final battery test. So we haven't hit 20% yet. And if this makes it to eight o'clock this evening, that means that I've made it a full seven days. All right. And essentially how I did that was I have the watch set up to only light up when I push the power button or the crown button or when I get a notification or a phone call. All right. So it's only lighting up when I have to use it or I'm using it to do something. That's how I maximized the amount of battery life that I can get out of it. And that's honestly what I would recommend for you guys and gals to do as well. You can do this by pushing the button. You can do this by programming a double tap, so on and so forth, right? And then you can also do this by programming the raise to wake feature as well. But I found that the raise to wake feature actually uses more battery life. So I pretty much use the crown button or it just wakes up when I get a notification or a phone call. But you can also use the double tap to do something similar. All right. So that's how I set it up to optimize the battery life and optimize the functionality. And that, guys and gals, does it for today's video. So as always, if you guys and gals enjoyed today's video, please help your boy out by giving the video a thumbs up. That really does help me out. You don't know how much. Also, if you'd like to see more content like this, please feel free to hit the subscribe button down below and make sure you click off the notification bell icon right next to it so you guys and gals get notified when new videos go live on the channel. Also, feel free to follow me across all the social media platforms. This way you're guaranteed to get notified because I do try to publish all my video launches across all of social media. I'll link up my social media connects down below in the video description. All right. Today's video was recorded using the telephoto camera on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus. Today's video is being recorded in 1080p at 30fps with no external microphone hooked up. But I am using my professional studio lights here today. So please let me know how you guys feel about the overall video quality as well as how you guys feel about the overall audio quality and the lighting down below in the comments. As always, all feedback is greatly appreciated. Just remember to keep it respectful, please. And CMF, I'm going to tag y'all on Twitter or X when I post this video. Hopefully, y'all can make some of these changes to clean this up, and then y'all will have a really solid product. Time will tell, okay? All right, everyone, I hope y'all are having a great day. I hope you guys and gals are staying safe out there, and I will catch everyone in the next video. Have a good one, everybody. We're out of here. Peace.